Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to part 11 on PHP and MySQL based newsletter system. So, till now, we are able to send the emails, we are able to track who all are, like who all have opened the emails. So, today finally, we would be writing the code for our newsletter dashboard. And that wouldn't be very, you know, complicated. That would be very, very simple. What we would be doing is, we would be getting the list of all the subscribed and unsubscribed users from our database so that later if you want to check who all are subscribed we can do it very easily next if you know we want to edit any information or if you want to delete them so we don't have to go back again and again to the database we can do it from our dashboard itself okay so we have already created the file index.php what we need is just to write our code Okay, so I'm gonna open my text editor and I'm gonna open this index.php file. Out here, uh, we would be creating a table. So first, I'm gonna say div id list all users and uh, there would be a table. And uh, inside the table, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm going to create some table rows and some table headings. So here I'm going to say name and then I'm going to have the email. Okay. Then I'm going to say uh, subscription status. Subscription status. And uh, after that, uh, I believe that's all. Or we can say what's the other group okay so I believe these four things are fine for us then I'm gonna say table should have a width to 100% and this TR should align to like okay after that we just need a PHP file that will grab everything from the database and will show it to our actual dashboard so I'm gonna say include ones list uh, that would be scripts slash list users dot php okay now we will be creating this particular file which says list user dot php come back go to script what I did I don't, I don't want to actually cheat I believe we already have list users out here. Yeah, we have. So I'm gonna say list all users. Okay, that seems fine. Out here, I'm gonna open the PHP tags and I'm gonna include my connection file because without making any connection, we cannot get anything from our database. Then a very simple query that would be. SQL my SQL query select all from guestbook order by ID descending so that we will get the latest one first okay then if you're not able to get any information or if our query is wrong please go ahead and give us an error then I'm gonna say dollar row will be my SQL fetch array dollar SQL in the very last I'm gonna say extract dollar row okay and uh, that needs to be inside the while otherwise it will only give us one result That seems pretty fine then I can actually echo a table row with a TD okay I'm not sure what are the names out here in the guest web okay I need to be uh, news uh, here in guest web that is name 
So I'm gonna set our room name. TD would be dollar email and then we have one second guys here on the top I'm gonna say if dollar status is equals to equals to one okay then dollar status will be equals to subscribe else dollar status will be equals to unsubscribe or don't make it else uh, we can say else f dollar status is equals to equals to zero okay very simple then i'm gonna say dollar status will be equals to unsubscribe and here i can actually echo dollar status very simple because guys we're not gonna you know echo one or zero on our actual dashboard we want to know who all are subscribed or who all are not subscribed so it's a very simple if and else statement and as we don't have any groups out here so i have to take that off and i have to write your sign update okay then here would be a td and uh, i'm gonna say sign up date sign up date okay everything looks good one more thing we need here is list all users go ahead refresh and let's see whether we will get any errors or not oh, there is one it says syntax error online number 28 down here on the bottom yeah, we do have one error we forward to error the semi column okay this seems pretty good one thing we can do is this particular one list all users we can give it a width of 960 pixels so i'm gonna open this tile sheet out here on the very bottom save that okay copy paste go ahead refresh it seems pretty fine then we can have you know what edit and a delete button out here so out here uh, I'm gonna say th then I'm gonna say actions here I'm again gonna create a td uh, this one would be the ref to edit user.php okay could be id is equals to dollar id that's fine here i'm gonna say edit <coughs> okay and uh, then i need is a delete button that will be to this particular page only index.php and then again i'm gonna say id is equals to dollar id okay and here i'm gonna say delete let's call refresh <coughs> i ain't a syntax error my gosh let me check out because i have two dot dot signs out here Let me check out everything from the very beginning. It says a ref here, it's looking fine. Then to this ID, it's fine. Right, getting to single code statement. Now it's look pretty fine. We can see it says edit user with the ID 8. Okay, and this one will come to the same page with the ID 8. Now we just need that particular edit page from where we can actually edit them and then we would be writing a very simple script 
to see whether we are getting any ID appended. And one more thing, nice mini. Is that and action is equals to the name. Okay. So very first, we would be writing the script for our delete button up here on the very top. I want to say PHP. I'm going to include the connection file because we would be deleting it from our database. With the script slash connection dot PHP. Okay. Out here, I'm going to say if is set dollar get ID. That means if you're getting any kind of ID uh, <clears throat> in the URL and is set dollar get action okay and dollar get action is equals to equals to delete then go ahead and uh, echo whatever just want to test whether it's working okay cut back refresh we won't have anything i'm gonna hit delete here it says because we have an id field out here then we have an action and the action is equal to delete okay so for now i'm gonna take them off very simple here i'm gonna say dollar id will be equal to dollar get id okay now a very simple query I'm gonna name it dollar delete will be equals to mysql query and then could be delete from guest book where id is equals to dollar id or die mysql error okay pretty fine and uh, then I'm gonna say dollar I believe that's fine here I'm gonna say if dollar delete header location to index.php okay come back refresh I'm gonna hit that see that one is gone from here Let's see, there was a zombie. We have total one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna hit delete. And it and gave me four. And it's working pretty fine. Come back to the database. Refresh. Yep, we only have four. So I believe that's working pretty pretty fine. Now we need uh, edit page. So here I'm gonna say edit users.php okay back here and I'm gonna copy everything from the index.php I'm gonna paste it out here I will take this clip okay okay that seems pretty fine guys